Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica, also known as Moni. Um, I'm here today to bring you guys um, a closer look at the Vera Bradley Pet Supplies. Um, they did send me all of this product. I did not purchase any of this product myself, um, but I just want you guys to know all opinions are my own. So <clears throat> Vera Bradley has a pet collection um, catered to your fur babies. Um, that way you can enjoy your time with them outdoors and indoors as well. So I'm going to kind of just kind of like go over everything and um, so yeah, so let's just begin. So the first thing in their pet collection is this Vera Bradley Reactive Pet Tote. It's pretty big. Um, this tote does hold up to 25 pounds. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend you put your 25 pound dog on like in this tote because that can be kind of heavy for your shoulder. My dogs are under 10 pounds each so both of them combined are about 20 pounds but um, yeah that's just something to be mindful of but this is in their reactive fabrication and so it is actually nice and wipeable which is something you want because if your pet is in here the chances of them leaving slobber or any sort of messes um, is going to be very likely. Um, you do get these cloth straps. You can see here the texture. I apologize for all my dogs fur. <laughs> um, this is the front. As you can see here, um, you do get a Vera Bradley logo there. And then off to the side of the straps, you do get this little D-ring right here. And this D-ring, um, I like to put um, hand sanitizer or you can put, if you have a little doggy waist bag, charm, anything like that. So on the back side, you do get two slip pockets and they go all the way down to the bottom of the bag and they're actually pretty wide you could fit like a small little crossbody like the all-in-one crossbody the rfid wristlet can fit in there um a zip id i want to even say a mini hipster i don't never mind let me not say that <laughs> so you do get two there's one on each side um once we get to the interior of the bag um well actually let me show you guys this first so you see this little um, scoop here. This is where your dog would poke their little head out, kind of like like that. So, the interior, you do not have any organization inside, but what it does come with is a little, um, oh, it's on the side. It's like a little clip, that way you can clip to your dog's leash, or not leash, but collar, that way they're not moving around in there as you're walking. Um, you can also use it to clip your keys if you feel like your dog is pretty well behaved and whatnot. But you do have this removable dog, like a little dog padding, dog bed. It's full of stuff because I was using it for my dog, so just excuse that. But what's awesome about this is that you can remove this um, foam here. You can remove the foam and you can take this off and you can actually throw this into the wash. So the inside is foam. I'm gonna put that back in there. So this can actually go back in here. So it is awesome because it is removable. Um, and then the inside is also a very nice wipeable material. So this is one of the items I did get. Um, so my dogs, like I said, they are little. Something that I did notice that my dogs would do because they're so tiny, they were able to like poke their head out and their two little paws. So just kind of be mindful of that. Um, I would say this is more for like a, like a 10 to 15 pound dog. Anything under 10 pounds, you're probably gonna have that same issue. Um, so just kind of be wary of that. And that's pretty much it with the organization of this tote. So the next product that they did send me, I'm going to put this off to the side because I'm going to show you guys something in a little bit. Um, the next product that they did send me was actually like a trio of products or four. It was four. Quadruple? <laughs> I'm not really sure. But um, my goodness, my dog's fur is all over my face. So the first thing that they sent to me is of the four was this little bandana. This bandana actually does not come like this on the collar. You have to put it on. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is in their pattern stained glass medallion and it's a small. Um, you do have the Vera Bradley logo right there. 
and this is what the back looks like. So where you put your collar or your dog's collar, um, it is also like it's a piece of fabric that is just kind of flapped over and sewed together. And so this is another product that they sent me. This is their Veer Bradley pet collar. And this is also in the size small. So you in this pet collar, you do get this really nice, sturdy, it is plastic hardware, and it does clip really nicely. And it's also, it's a little difficult to unclip, but that's kind of a good thing because you don't want your dog to get loose and then run away from you. So it's actually really nice and really sturdy. And you also get this metal um, D-ring where you can put your dog's leash, their tags, all of that good stuff. So it is adjustable. This, I actually have it adjusted to the smallest setting. Um, let me just get my phone for reference. So this is what it looks like. But my dog, <laughs> my dog is too small, so he did kind of slip out a little bit, but um, that's only when he was walking and he saw something and he wanted to like go, you know. So just kind of be mindful of that. Bam Bam is about, I want to say like eight pounds. So this is for like a dog who kind of is a little bit bigger than 10 pounds, I would say. Okay, so the way this works is how you use the bandana because when I first grabbed this, I was like, okay, how do you use this? But the way you apply it is you just kind of grab your collar and you just slip it through all oh, the dog fur. <laughs> you just slip it through like so and you just kind of thread it all the way through until you get it to the other side. So let's see, let's try to do this really easy it's just you know time consuming a little bit but it looks so cute when it's like all done and it's on your pet Come on. well it's because it's folded in there there we go I got the clip now it was folded inward so this is how it looks that's how you do it and then you would just clip this um, on your dog. I did it backwards. So you just clip this on your dog and this is what it would look like. Just kind of like hanging out on them. Um, so these are the other two things that they had sent me. Another thing, the other two items is a leash. So this leash is really nice guys. It's long. Um, I love, 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 I was gonna say like and love at the same time. I love how sturdy this hardware is. You can see there that it is actually nice and thick. My dog does not, you know, get away from me <laughs> with this hardware. Um, you do have the Vera Bradley nameplate right there. Let me go ahead and take this off. And then the handle is also really nice and comfortable. It feels really nice and sturdy. Um, so this is also for like the smaller sized dogs, which Bammy did really well in it. Um, so. That is good. You also, did I show this already? I can't remember why wow, my memory is so bad. But what is awesome about this um, leash is you do get a little plastic D-ring here on this side. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that like that. So what I loved about this is if you have a little doggy waist bag, this is also another product Vera Bradley sent me. If you have your doggy waist bag, you can actually hook this on here so you have your little dog waist bags with you. So this is their pet waste bag charm. Um, it is nice because if you buy your little dog's waste bags, you can stick them in here and then you would thread, you would thread them out through this little opening right there. So it's a really nifty little thing. And so it can be conveniently located on your leash for your dog or what I was also gonna show you guys is this pet tote has this little handy D-ring here like I mentioned earlier. You can put this here just like that on your tote um, and you'll be ready to go. And yay! So aside from these items, they did send me one more item. Well, really two, but it looks cute together as a set, so I say it's one. But it is their super comfy dog bed that Bam Bam is obsessed with. This is a size small, medium, I believe, and this is an, a squeaky toy. So it is really comfortable. Bam Bam loves being in this. This little squeaky toy is a decent size. Um, just, you know, I have an iPhone 12 Pro, so this is the size reference. You can see there, 12 Pro Max. 
So this dog bed is lined with this fleece. And then um, you can actually, it's this awesome like wipeable fabric at the bottom. I have already washed this because my dog shed like crazy. So it washed really well. This is after the washing. So the color did not fade. You can see here that the color is still super bright and vibrant. This is in the ribbons plaid pattern. Um, and it actually, it held up super well. Even the black did not fade or anything like that. And it still feels really soft. None of it pilled or anything like that. So that is also really good. So I want to say that that's pretty much it. That wrapped up the pet collection. So I do recommend the dog bed. I do recommend the pet tote. Just keep, be mindful of the pet tote because if your dog is really small, they will be able to like, you know, hook, not hook, but like hop kind of and have their little paws forward. Pebbles did that a lot and Bam Bam tried to. He's a little bit on the bigger side, but he was still able to like at least get one paw. So that's the pet collection. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, um, just leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, everything is pretty, it's really awesome. The only thing is if your dogs are on the smaller side like Bam Bam and Pebbles, just be mindful of the collar. It may not fit. Um, but yeah, guys, but thank you guys for tuning in and for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.